Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Ikiwi, and today we are drawing Raven and Apple from Ever After High. So let's not waste any time and hop right into the video. When I first counted out the votes, I was actually kind of shocked that Ever After High won, but I guess if you know Monster High, then you probably know Ever After High, especially with the Cupid crossover. Of course, I wasn't disappointed, because I've always wanted to draw them in the past, but I'd never gotten a chance to, so I'm going to draw them today. Similar to last time, Vampire Knight is the runner-up again, so it's an option for this week's voting. However, the options for this week are a little bit different because they are only animes suggested by you guys, and because my boyfriend wanted to see me draw something from an anime in my style. And I'm also planning to separate the Winx videos from this series, because every time they are included in the options, they seem to win anyways, and I wanted to draw them, so I thought that I could just make them more regular. However, with that being said, in this series, make sure to vote by either replying to my comment or voting in your own, because either one counts. So now that we've wrapped up the announcements, let's go ahead and talk about the sketch. So I've always loved the designs in Ever After High, both of the costumes and characters. I felt like their designs were pretty unique, and I liked that the clothes were very specific to each character, no matter the outfit. When I was looking at references for the characters, I had a similar feeling as I did when I was doing the Monster High drawing, where I felt like that there was a lot of detail in the costumes that I never really noticed before. So when I was sketching out these two, I was both looking forward to and dreading adding in all the detail in their costumes. When sketching them out, I wanted to give them slightly different features because in the show they all are the same height and have very similar body types and faces, so I tried to make them different heights and I gave Raven a more athletic body whereas Apple is more petite. I also gave them different eye shapes where Raven's is more almond shaped and Apple's is more round, just to kind of reinforce that royal vs rebel vibe. And when creating the sketch, I used reference images from both the show and the concept art because there are some small details like Apple's jacket pattern that aren't present in the show version, so I tried to mix them up and that was more prevalent in Apple's design than Raven's. Moving on to the coloring, I'll be using some new markers in this video, along with other markers that I've reviewed before. The new marker review video will actually be going out next week, and I will be sure to link all the materials that I use in this video in the description down below. So I started with Apple because of her lighter color scheme, which I talked about in one of my previous blending tutorial videos. I noticed that when I was choosing colors for her color scheme, it was a lot of variations of red, with the exception of her hair. The one part I did really enjoy when coloring Apple was the overskirt she has, which is kind of like a gradation of a light pink to a deeper pink. It was super fun to blend it out, but I did notice that I probably should have used a pink color erase pencil instead of a red, because when I blended it together, the red kind of smeared and made little vertical lines from me trying to blend it. As for Raven, I didn't really notice before, but her skin is kind of a pink tone. So similar to previous videos where I didn't have a light enough marker color to use for her skin, I just used pink as the shadow and tried to blend it in using a colorless blender. And another thing that I realized when choosing markers for Raven is that purple is kind of my nemesis now. <laughs> in many marker sets, there are only a certain amount of purple markers, and typically in a small set, I feel like they don't have many purple markers in the same range, so they'll have some that are more of a red tone and some that are blue, but not enough variation within 
that tone, if that makes sense. And since Raven's color scheme is basically a bunch of different shades of purple, it was definitely challenging finding the correct shade, I guess you could say, and then shades to color with. However, by some sort of miracle, I happened to make it look all right and pretty similar to her original color scheme, so I was pretty happy with that. And once I had both of them pretty much colored in, I really liked the contrast between their colors, with Apple being light and red and Raven being dark and purple. <laughs> So when it came to adding the details, Apple's dress has some gold detailing on the underskirt. So I used a gold pen, which I'll link in the description, to add those little swirls that she had. The only downside was I created the swirls previously, but the marker was dark enough where it covered up my previous swirls, so I had to make it up as I went along. And for added contrast, I used silver on Raven and I added the sparkles to her shirt. As for the line art, I tried to stay within colored pens to keep a softer feel, but I had to use black pen for some parts of Raven just because I didn't have a colored pen dark enough to define the shape. And another small little detail was that I used a brown pen to outline Apple's eyes instead of the black I used on Raven's to give it a softer overall feel. Overall, I really like the outcome of this piece. I think it really shows the contrast between the characters in their designs and their color and hopefully I emphasize that a little bit more with my subtle changes. I definitely had lots of fun drawing and coloring it, and I want to draw more characters from Ever After High, but like I've said in previous videos like the Monster High video or Winx, it's probably going to take me a long time because there are so many characters and so many outfits. Also, I don't think I've mentioned, but Cerise Hood is my favorite character, so if you want to let me know your favorite character, leave a comment down below. So I hope you enjoyed the video and my rendition of Raven and Apple from Ever After High. If you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post a new video. And also, don't forget to vote for your favorite option down below, either by replying to my comment or in your own comment. I'll be sure to count them up next Wednesday so we can decide on which characters I will draw next. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!